Ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Yes. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things, and that ye keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. That you keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. Now he's is he's getting ready to teach an ordinance. The ordinance is a rule or regulation. It's something that you got to do. It's called a statute. Yes. Now, if it was optional, he would have said, I would ask you to do it, hope that you do it, pray that you do it, but it's really not necessary. But he don't say that. He said, keep. Yes. When you keep something, you put it away, don't you? Yes. Huh? Praise yes. God. All right. Now, uh, drop down to verse 5. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head. Mm -hmm. For that is even all one as if she were shaven. Yes. For if the woman be not covered, let her be shorn. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. Now, if it's a shame for a woman to have her hair shaved off and walk around bald-headed, mm -hmm. Bible said let her be veiled, veiled. Yes. Yes. covered. Yes. In the analytical Bible, I said in parentheses, the word covered means veiled. Yes. veiled. In your Hebrew translated Bible, covered means veiled. In your Greek translated Bible, covered means means veil. Yes. Now we're going to a uh, Holman's Bible Dictionary religion. Now I told y'all many times the Holman's Illustrated Bible Dictionary does not care what church you go to. Amen. They're not interested in uh, what uh, your religious preference. Amen. They're interested in a historical knowledge concerning a passage of scripture that relates to the Bible. Amen. All right, in Holman's Bible Dictionary religion, page 359. Covering the head. 1 Corinthians 11, 1 through 16. Paul dealt with the matter of covering the head in worship service. This extended treatment shows that there must have been a subject of considerable interest in Corinth. Amen. The Jewish custom was for all women to cover their heads with a veil, mm -hmm. not a hat. Mm -hmm. yes. With a veil, mm -hmm. yes. not a, a, a tam. Yes. Amen. 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 Not a bonnet. Yes. Amen. With a veil. Hallelujah. When they went outside their home Preach prophet. to appear in public without a veil was a sign of immodesty and lack of virtue. In other words, it's a person who was uncouth, yeah. person who wasn't trained, yeah. person who didn't have any parental upbringing yeah. if you went in public without a veil. Yeah. To appear in public without a veil was a sign of immodesty and lack of virtue. Now watch. Mm -hmm. To appear in a worship service without a veil, was unthinkable. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now here, Paul has addressed the problem of a veil covering. Man. Why are we a separated church? Because we are one of the few churches yes. left on yes. this planet that still wears the veil That's covering right. and still teach it. And we still going to teach it. And I say to the young people, go and when you Get away from home, take the veil and put it in your pocket or wherever you hide it. I don't see it, but God does. Yes, he does. And this proves not only are you disobedient, but you're disrespectful yes. and you don't believe the word of God. There'll come a time when you're going to need to get a prayer yes. to heaven. There come a time. It may not be this year, next year, maybe 10 years, maybe 15 years, but sooner or later, yes. you're going to say, Lord, help me. Yes. Right. Yes. Give me Proverbs. Yes. Yes. Is, that, is that the first chapter? Yes, sir. Amen. Uh, yeah, read. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. Now God said when he instructed you, you wouldn't listen. You're disobedient. See, they don't teach this in the Baptist church. Amen. They won't teach this in the, in the false church. You, uh, T. D. Jason, you know, he ain't going to touch nothing on this. Can the ain't going to bother this? Hallelujah. Right. Because they're interested in money yes. yeah. and crowds. I'm interested in getting you right so when the trumpet sounds, you can go yes. to glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Because
because I called and you refused. I stretch out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, all my teachings, and would none of my reproof, none of my correction. You would pay no attention when I tried to correct. Yes, you. Read. yes. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Uh -huh. When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon you. Then me. shall they pray. But, Lord, help me. Uh huh. Yes. But I will not answer. I will not answer. Right. That's the That's word, the of, word God. of God. Yeah. Now, Evangelist Evans has copies of this passage of scripture I just uh, read yes. in Holman's Bible Dictionary. Mm -hmm. Everyone have it? Yes, sir. I want all the sisters to have one. Yes, sir. <laughs> I didn't want it like that. I wanted, all right, what y'all do is cut it right there and, and then lap over. Because uh, I don't think that's going to fit in the back of the Bible. I want it to go right on the back page. All right, what you got to do is take a pair of scissors and border it. Yes, so that you can take some scotch tape yes, and take it right to the back page of your Bible. I want all the sisters to have that on the back page of their Bible. Take a scotch tape. Now, anytime you go somewhere, and someone questioned about the bell coming, taking the first Corinthians eleven chapter. They would say, no, wait, wait a minute, we're gonna we gonna prove this by a witness. Yes. Harlem's Bible Dictionary Religion. Yes. Have you heard of it? They would say, Well, no, I never heard of Harlem's Bible Dictionary Religion. Well, you ought to you ought to get one yes. session. Yes. Bible yes. to study to show yourself approved of God. The work when that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Yes. So you got to you got to be up on this. Yes. Then you can turn, flip over to the back page, and you can say, here, here, Harlem's Bible Dictionary Religion. Write it down, page 359. Yes. Uh, matter of fact, I don't think she has page 359 down here. But you can put, uh, you can add page 359. Yes. Amen. Uh, Y'all write uh, Holman's Bible Dictionary for religion. Yes, sir. You should have put Holman's Bible Dictionary for, for the reference point. All right, y'all got that? All right, yes, so at uh, the top page, put 1 Corinthians 11. I didn't want 1 Corinthians in there. Yes. Because 1 Corinthians is in the Bible. Yes. All right, so when you uh, when y'all get home, y'all just cut that 1 Corinthians part out, yes. the point I want, and then put in the bottom of it. Uh, Holman's Bible Dictionary. Page. Holman's Bible Dictionary, page 359. All right? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Sometimes it's best to follow my instructions. That's right, amen. amen. All right. The Bible says, whatsoever apostle or prophet, Preach, minds on earth should be bound in heaven. Mm -hmm. If I give you an instruction that may not be in the Bible per se, yes. you got to take my word for it. Yes. Cigarette smoking is not in the Bible. But I'm telling you, cigarette smoking is wrong. Uh, cocaine abuse is not in the Bible. The word cocaine you can't find in the Bible, but I'm telling you it's a sin. It's a willful sin. Okay? So, uh, uh, lesbian, the word lesbian is not found in the Bible. But I'm telling you, it's a sin. Yes. Now, again, the reason why you can't find it in the Old Testament, because they didn't have to deal with that problem. Right. Women were raised up strictly in the home of the father and could not go outside that door without a chaperone when that woman uh, uh, came up to the age of uh, uh, a young womanhood. Yes. And back then, a young woman was 13, 14, 15 years old could get married because she could bear children. Amen. Now today we have a standard uh, and I agree with it. 17, 18, fine. But the point I'm trying to drive home, they didn't have to worry about that problem because there was no such thing as uh, a young man coming by and see a uh, young girl 16 years old, we going on a date. No, you, no, you ain't. Right. Yeah. Unless I'm going with you. Yeah. Make room for three. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 